Hello guys, this is once again Jacob John from Be Good Academy. I want to tell you one thing. This is not a usual video. If you might have noticed the earlier video, which was done by me as well as Nazreen, we were talking about a couple of questions that usually students have and which we face in our daily lives, the day-to-day -day activities. We're actually facing those doubts from the students when we are taking classes. So we thought, why don't we make a video out of it? And at the last end of the particular video, I was like, why don't you write down your comments so that we can clarify your doubts in the next video session. So this video is going to be an exciting one and I'm personally going to clarify all the doubts those who have written in the comments section. So please keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm really happy to clarify the doubts of those who have written in the comments section. You can just see I'm having my phone in my hand. So the first doubt is over here is by Krishna Prasad. Krishna Prasad has uh, written over here, how can we approach a cue card if we lack ideas about the topic in it? Well, that's a very common doubt. Almost all the IELTS students, and not only IELTS students, but also those who are preparing for the English language, just whatever it might be, OET, PTE, TOEFL, whatever it is, they'll be having this particular doubt. So when Krishna Prasad has written over here, it's like, how can we approach a cue card if we lack ideas about the topic in it? First of all, let me just tell you, IELTS examination or any other English language test for whatever it might be, does not have a syllabus so it is an examination just to test your ways you know how you can how effectively you can communicate how properly you can communicate with people what type of ideas can you generate what type of ideas do you have in your mind so what i want to tell you is like even if you do not have a particular idea regarding the cue card topic or the task card topic that the examiner has given you try to brainstorm you know first of all you have to start brainstorming when you have enrolled yourself as an IELTS student or in any institutions or your self-study whatever the mode might be so go through common topics read topics read books read journals read newspapers read articles listen to interviews listen to public platform talks for instance like josh talk is there for instance like uh, what should i say ted talks are there you know listen to all those talks and try to familiarize yourself with different aspects so that is one thing that you can do krishna Prasad over here and um, if you're lacking idea that particular situation when the examiner is like that's the end of your preparation time i'm going to hand over you uh, this particular cue card or this is a cue card and you start with your preparation time whatever you'll be totally confused one way you're about to start speaking the other way you have to prepare so what i want to tell you is like just utilize your brain of course, uh, human brain is not at all utilized properly. That's what uh, uh, everybody says, and particularly neuroscientists who are all actually uh, revolving around what you say, the studies of brains and everything. But still, I want you to start thinking. What are the aspects that you can go along with that? You know, what all are the ways that you can correlate and give some sort of a speaking? Please do not fret. And more I want to tell you is like, you cannot, of course, ask the examiner to change the task card. So please, rather than fretting, just calm down. You know, take a deep breath, calm down and try to relate your brain to certain topics or to certain situations where you have seen this particular task card so that you can prepare for one minute and then you can start speaking for the next two minutes without any interruption. So that is something that I want to tell you Krishna Prasad and of course there's one more thing that I want to tell you. Practice, practice, practice. You have to practice you have to meticulously religiously you have to dedicate two months three months four months whatever time you have kept aside to study IELTS so that is the baseline and apart from that you know mentors tutors guides everybody they have a limitation the original essence or the original uh, we say the content that has to be put forward is only by the candidate so i suppose krishna prasad that actually uh would you say answer your question now there is a big comment that i have received by let me just see over here it's firdos abdullah all right let me just read it out if i was uh, not speaking cue card nicely or out of one or two minutes i will make my band score reduce all right 
first of all uh, let me just break your comment into two sections and first i'll answer the first section of your comment and after that i'll go down towards the next section so the first one is you have to speak for two minutes well in comparison if you're going to take OET examination you have to speak for 10 minutes of course it is partly divided five five you have to speak but as far as IELTS is concerned you have to speak for two minutes uninterruptedly it doesn't mean that you should not regulate your tone you should not regulate your pronunciation you should not regulate your what do you say uh some sort of a pace it's not like that you have to regulate your pace you have to speak properly so you have to speak for two minutes it is a must yes because the examiner needs to evaluate you he or she we have to listen to your speaking you have to elongate your answer and of course they have to find out how good of a speaker you are so for that you have to speak for two minutes and as i always say please do not stop your speaking all by yourself just continue speaking do not be bothered about the atmosphere do not be bothered about the examiner do not be bothered about the topic as well because when you're getting overly concerned about the topic you might be having some sort of a confusion and apart from that if you're like too much into the topic even though you have segregated ideas even though you have queued up the ideas in your mind you won't be able to say it out naturally so let the examiner stop you let the examiner say that's the end of your speaking session now we'll move on to the third section of speaking it's about a couple of questions that i'll be asking you based on the second section of speaking that is the task card that you have just spoken a while ago let the examiner intervene let them stop you and as far as uh, the scores are concerned let me just leave it to you don't you think that you are asked to prepare for one minute in writing and it is a must right and apart from that you are asked to speak for two minutes the next two minutes so if you're not meeting the task if you're not actually going uh, according to the criteria what they have said will you lose score i'm leaving it up to you the second part of your comment is even though i answered um, almost part one and three during exam i was totally nervous when see my cue card topic couldn't get any topic in my mind i was about reading describe a book i read more than once i have no habit of reading all right let me just tell you uh, something else for those uh, ielts speaking examination is divided into three sections part one that is a warm-up section part two is uh, the main section we can call it as individual long term the cue card section of the task card section and the last section individual short term to a discussion or follow-up section all these sections are carrying their own weightage of marks so even if you answer part one nicely even if you answer part three and nicely it doesn't mean that you can when you say omit part section uh, part two section it doesn't mean that you can just simply leave part two section well i'm not able to do that why because you know it's the main it's the core it's the essence the examiner is actively taking part in part one as well as in part three but mode of discussion in part two is monologue you are the only person who is actually answering who is actually preparing the three minutes is yours so you have to give your best so that is something that you have to keep in mind and apart from that if you get a topic like could you please just uh, speak or could you please just explain a little bit about a book that you have read more than once and you don't have a book in your mind please you know these are all very common topics just just correlate your mind to certain book you might have read at any stage in your life of course we all have read but make sure that you speak relevantly relevantly and logically you should be uh, able to answer whether it's a novel it's like what which genre does that book come under you cannot just simply speak about a comic you cannot just speak, uh, simply speak about some sort of like a magazine or something there's always a difference between a magazine a book a comic or some sort of a would you say uh, just a flyer or a pamphlet so you have to listen to the question properly and then you have to answer what i would like to say is please get into your mind that these all are common topics so why don't you just prepare just take just take a very small uh, short story book or like it can be anything else 
for for that matter for instance like uh, take a short story from o henry or you can take any 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 of the short story books i'm not asking you to read something which is very heavy and you have to impress the examiner the examiner is only looking for logical answers and how effective of a communicator you are all right guys so these were the two relevant comments that I received in the video that I had done with Nazreen and it was actually aired a day ago. And those who have not watched that particular video, I would highly suggest you and recommend you to go to Be Good Academy channel of IELTS and watch that particular video so that I can answer many and much more of your doubts that you are having personally in your mind. I'm not only open to the students in a Be Good Academy, but also so I'm open to one and all whoever is watching this particular video. So please do take me as, the, uh, as an open person. Take this particular channel as an open platform and please load the comment sections with relevant comments and doubts so that sitting at the comfort of your home, you will be getting a clarification. Until next time, thank you so much. Once again, this is Jacob John from Be Good Academy.